Is there a desktop mode for the Honor Magic VS? One of the questions that arrived me and I want to answer this right now by presenting to you the Honor desktop mode, not only on the Honor Magic VS that I'm using here right now, but also on the Magic 4 Ultimate and of course the Magic 5 Pro. So let's get started. So here we have our setup. So we have the Magic VS here. We have a keyboard here as well as a mouse. This is a wireless mouse in this case. And everything is connected to a Dell docking station that you can see here. And uh, there we have the uh, keyboard connected HDMI going to my Sony television that I already turned on. And we have the dongle for the wireless mouse to be able to use this Logitech mouse. I could also use the Huawei mouse here. And then from there, there's a cable going down here, the very thick cable, and there we go. This is the USB Type-C cable that I usually plug into my laptop for having an external monitor. But now what I wanna do is plug it into the Magic VS. So let's do this. So what we wanna do is like, I can plug it open here. And then I just plug it into the USB Type-C port. And what will happen is, first of all, it's charging because there's power on the docking station as well. And then it's asking for the keyboard layout. Uh, and then it's short and connection error. Usually it doesn't do this. And then we have a clone here by default where I can see the whole display of my phone here on the screen. But to activate the desktop mode, what I can do, you can see here, on my device itself, there's a blue icon. If I tap on this, I have the easy projection mode. And here I can choose the projection mode and I can choose, I want the desktop mode. I click on desktop mode and you will see that now in the background, it's switching to the desktop mode. I get a large touchpad here where I can use the mouse to control it, but I can also use, of course, my wireless mouse that I have here if I turn it on. I am now able to control the mouse here. As you might see in the background, I can open up. Uh, let's open up. Yeah, what, what do you want to open up? Let's open up files. And you can see I've opened up files there in the background. As you can see, it is running independently from what I see on my, um, on my, tele, uh, on my smartphone in tablet mode. So this is the possibility that I have here right now. And yeah, let's check out, maybe I can do a screen record of the desktop mode uh, to see yeah, what we can do in desktop mode on Magic OS. So here we have a typical desktop like a Windows desktop. Desktop icons, taskbar at the bottom, quick launch items and items that I can just launch like the file manager here in a window. I can resize the window the way I want to which is quite nice. I have other applications, just like the Note application that I can also resize. Usually the Honor own applications you can resize. You can minimize, maximize and close the window or go to full screen. I have my YouTube here running. And by the way, new nice video, Sony Xperia 1 Mark, 4, uh, 1 Mark 5 after one week, best phone of 2023. Uh, Tech Odyssey, if you didn't subscribe to him, just subscribe to him, safe to watch it later. And uh, yeah, I can minimize an application. It's running here in the taskbar still. I can open it up. I have my all my other applications that are not on the desktop here. I can open them up as well. Some applications are not running, just like for example, for some reason, odd reason, Twitter is just crashing on me. But uh, of course, uh, we should not use Twitter. We should use Mastodon, which is running fine for me here even if the window is a bit small here and if you maximize it, it's a bit of not optimized for this kind of device here. Uh, on the taskbar, we have some quick note uh, options, like I can go directly into the notes application to do some quick notes. I can switch the audio device from display device to mobile phone to auto. If I want to play something back and I want to use the internal speakers of the um, smartphone or tablet or foldable, I have some notifications here, see that I'm screen recording, can turn off and on Bluetooth, can connect to devices, exit desktop mode, screen recording what I'm doing right now, uh, changing from sound to, to vibration only for notifications, go into my calendar here, see my appointments, create a new appointment, stuff like this, have the Android navigation buttons, if I click here, also all minimized applications just like the YouTube one are showing up here, which is quite nice. 
And yeah, have the option if you have a web browser that is optimized for desktop usage, can not only use my mouse here, can also use my keyboard. Uh, just like uh, let's search for Vivaldi, which is like a desktop optimized web browser. I can use Control T to open up a new uh, tab here. Can type in uh, some uh, web address like for example youtube.com slash at is it working at tech view podcast so i can take a look at my youtube website here if i want to accept all of course and it's opening up in the youtube app as you can see here i can theory use this here as well in the web browser the way i want it can maximize it open new tabs can work with it can hit even control l to directly type something in so it has all the desktop shortcuts otherwise you can go also into some settings right click new file a new file new folder that you can create you can fresh uh, refresh the desktop icons change the wallpaper which brings it directly into the gallery i don't want to show you the pictures there uh, screen size where I can choose the screen size here large medium and small not the resolution the resolution is changed um, or detected automatically but you can choose how big uh, it should show on your desktop especially if you have some older uh, displays and it's not showing everything you can choose it here and yeah some other options here that are available as well let's go into I think I can go into settings somewhere here uh where i can choose uh some other options just like the keyboard settings and so on i can choose as well here if i want to uh, plug in a new keyboard change the keyboard layout it's possible here to do as well i have mm, tons of applications that are working nicely some applications that don't work they're not optimized quite nicely uh Warpy, i think should work and i think i can also resize it no i cannot resize it uh but yeah i can see some pictures here download some new wallpapers uh, that i can change here on my desktop if i want to very nice addition indeed and yeah i can work normally like on a desktop i can use uh, wps office microsoft office whatever i want to do create new documents here I can create a new empty doc document there we go I can start writing here and uh, have the possibility to change of course stuff like I can make this uh, fat or change anything else there if I want to do it. Yeah, it's possible to do such things, uh, such work here, such desktop work. And yeah, it depends highly on the applications. Most of the uh, Honor applications are optimized and you can hear my kid shouting in the background. Yeah, this is, I think, the end for this kind of quick overview of the desktop mode of the Honor Magic OS 7.1. What do you think about this desktop mode? I think it is quite okay quite nice um, samsung dex is still a bit further developed here i would say but this one is running very nice and if you are in a hotel or something like this want to do some writing some work there have have a bluetooth keyboard or something like, or even type on the bigger screen um, use the uh, tablet mode of the foldable or the unfolded mode for the virtual keyboard it might work quite nicely as well answering some emails having uh, the possibility to drag files into another window for example drag and drop is also working at least on the native applications from honor so that's everything for this video um, if you have some questions write them down in the comment section and what do you think about this desktop mode here of the honor magic os 7.1 until the next time bye